ready today. I have a haul for you guys. I basically clicked up everything I bought over the past couple of weeks from all these sales that have been going on during this holiday season. These are things from all the way back from like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then all the sales in between now and Christmas. I literally cannot get on my Instagram or email or anything without seeing a 30% off sale or a 50% off sale. And of course I have to buy stuff because I have a problem. A lot of this stuff is actually gifts though that I have yet to wrap, so don't think that it's all just for me, even though um, I was very tempted to keep most of it. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, one of the first things I got is this Light It Up Lipstick in Lip Mattifier set. So it comes with all of these little lipsticks here from Smashbox, and then at the end here it has a mattifier thingy that you can like put over your lips and I'll turn any lipstick matte. Um, it's very interesting. I actually purchased this as like a gift to give somebody so I don't really want to like open it up and swatch them but there it is. It was originally $29 but I'm pretty sure I got this during the Sephora VIB sale so it was a little bit cheaper than that. Next up I got the Tartiste, Tartiste, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, Pro Glow little palette here. This is actually super heavy. I ordered this directly from Tarte. They were having some type of sale. I can't remember how much and I decided to go ahead and pick one up. I think it's really cool like the packaging it opens up like this actually smells good too as soon as I opened it I was like oh that smells pretty good I haven't really played with this because it has been in the box for so long I have opened it up and swatched it just a few times so that's where all the little fingerprints are coming from but yeah it's a pretty cute little palette next up from Tarte I also got these Tartiste Pro palette and this is an empty like Z palette type magnetic thing but it comes in a really cool like leopard print when I first saw this I thought they were actually going to be like hairs on it like little like hairs but it's actually just a hard plastic that has little indentions to make it look like fur but it's a very nice size I'm really excited to have this for all of my like individual eyeshadows and there's a gigantic mirror in it and here is where you pop in all of your magnetic shadows and things. Also from Tarte, I was able to get my hands on the Tarte Shape Tape. This was a journey. This was an expedition. They had it at Ulta. It was constantly sold out. They had it on Tarte. It was constantly sold out. And then finally they had like a 30% off sale and I was like, well, I'll just go check. And they had it and I absolutely couldn't believe it. So I quickly threw it into my cart along with the palette here. And yeah, I, I snagged it up. I actually did something really stupid and tried to blame Tarte for it. I ordered, and I could have sworn I ordered through the email I always order through, but apparently I didn't, and I didn't get a confirmation, and I didn't get anything, and on the website it said that I hadn't ordered, and I was like, Tarte, you can't do this to me. So I was really mad because I had this in my cart, and I knew I ordered it, but I had 0% confirmation. So I called Tarte, I emailed Tarte, and then I finally got on their Facebook and just started like leaving comments. I was like, Tarte took my money and didn't even give me order confirmation, and now I'm not going to get the shape date. <laughs> And then Tarte responded to me and said, um, yeah, we have an order for you in your name, but it's on a different email. Mm. So apparently I accidentally ordered through a different email and that's why there was no confirmation. And that's why there is no like actual order on my account because I used a different email. But I was like going off on Tarte's Facebook, like, I can't believe it. I'm so sad, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 100% my fault. They responded to me and they were like, um, your order's being shipped right now. And I was like, oh. Thank you. Sorry. Anyway, that was me um, being a little bit dumb for a minute. All right, next up in here, we have the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. This one on sale on their website and Sephora's website randomly one day. It was like half off or something, so like $27. And I decided since I don't own any naked palettes, I might as well go ahead and pick one up. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have all seen this before. It's been out forever, but I think the packaging is actually really pretty. Ooh. Things are falling everywhere. Inside it just has really smoky shadows. I'm really bad at doing like a dark smoky eye, so I'm hoping this palette will help me out a little bit. I tend to stay away from like blacks and grays and things like that, but hopefully I can use this palette and make some pretty smoky eyes. Also from Urban Decay, I picked up a full size uh, nighter makeup setting spray. I love this stuff now. I used to hate it, now I love it. Okay, also in the Sephora box, I have my little VIB Rouge kit. I'm very excited about this. I finally, after all these years, have become a VIP rouge and this little kit comes with a tiny NARS blush and I'm very very excited about this. I have heard fantastic things about NARS blushes but I've never tried them myself so there it is in a tiny little compact. It just has a NARS um, plastic piece over it but it looks to be a beautiful color. I'm very, very excited about this. All right, in the bottom of the Sephora box, we have like a sample of this Hot Pore Cleansing Cool Pore Tightening Pack. And this is actually, I think, Korean Beauty. This is a really cool sample from Sephora, so I had to pick that up. I also have the world's smallest Clinique <laughs> lip gloss right here in like pot Barbie pink. I got a deluxe size sample of the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. 
very excited to try that out. I also got a tiny little Bite Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Licorice. I absolutely hate licorice. Am I crazy or it does smell like a tiny, tiny bit like black licorice? It is really, really cute. It's a pretty color. There it is swatched on my hand. It is a super pretty color. I'm actually very excited about this. I just really hope it doesn't taste like black licorice because that is nasty. Nasty, nasty. All right, now I'm going to move into the other Sephora box. These are all actually gifts for my mom. She doesn't really have like a lot of makeup, so I didn't really know where to start for her. So I got her this big set of like chubby lip pencils. She doesn't really do like thick, opaque lipstick or anything, so I thought these would be kind of cute. They're kind of a more sheer, like glossy lip pencil. And then I also got her a tiny little adorable Sephora eyeshadow palette. Again, she doesn't really have many like bigger eyeshadow palettes, so I thought a little palette like this would be good to start her off with. This is what I really wanted to get her. The other things are kind of like extra. Um, this is an Urban Decay blush, and I know she said she wanted a nice blush, so I thought this one would be really pretty. This is in the shade Fetish, and this is what it looks like on the inside, so I really hope she likes this. All right, and last up, I'm just going to show you guys really quickly a couple things that I got from Octoly and Influencer. I got this Real Techniques brush set. I'm really excited to use this. I'll probably be using it in a video very soon. I have never tried any Real Techniques brushes, so this is going to be exciting for me. I also received this ColourPop Kiss Intel Ultra Gloss, Gloss Glassy, Ultra Glassy, Ultra Glossy Lip Collection, and this is one of those that came like in a record thing. This is what the glosses look like inside of the record. They're super, super pretty, very, very shimmery and sparkly. Our next ColourPop giveaway will probably be including one of these along with another matte lipstick. And then finally from Influencer, I'm really excited about these. I got a Marc Jacobs Le Marc Lip cream and a Marc Jacobs liner. I have never tried either of these before because they are expensive, but I'm very excited to be testing these out. I know the Lamarck lip creams are very ish new, kind of, <laughs> and the lip pencils I'm sure have been around for a while, but I'm really excited to get into this guy right here and test it out. I got the shade Hot Cocoa. You can see right there there's a like little viewfinder into the color of the lipstick. So I'm very excited to be testing these out. I'll probably be making a video on these as well, showing you guys how they wear, what they look like, and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'm looking around, checking to see if I missed anything, but it looks like that is it. I'm super excited to finally be able to unpack all of these things from this box I've been storing them in, get the presents wrapped up, put them under the tree. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching my haul. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. We have some exciting things coming up. We still have our $100 Sephora or Ulta gift card giveaway going on. I will link that down below for you guys. We have monthly ColourPop giveaways that are going to be happening. Super excited for that. So go ahead and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on anything. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching and as always I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye!